Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Karen Palka, and I'll be speaking with Francis Sampier. Today's show is sponsored by Blue Water Developmental Housing. Welcome, Francis, to Spotlight. Thank you, Karen. Glad to have you here. Learning a little bit about Morrow Road and this film that uh, you are putting together. Tell us about it. Yes. Thank you. So Morrow Road is based on the actual Michigan legend about a woman who disappeared in the late 1800s, around 1893, uh, searching for her lost child. So it is an actual legend, which means it's, uh, it's a lot of people don't know this, but a legend is something that cannot be proven or disproven. Okay. So there was a woman, there was a child, they did disappear, that's a fact, but how and the nature of which they disappeared is not clear. Okay. So people today, uh, the, the paranormal side of the, the idea of the story is there have been lots of claims from people who drive down that road. Um, you know, at night they say they see a ghost or uh, hear a child crying or see orbs or lights as we, you know, like to call them. Um, uh, if they beep the horn three times after midnight, you know, there's sort of the urban legend aspect of it. So... Oh my gosh, how very interesting. Mm -hmm. And so you've been working on this full-length film. Yeah, it's a feature-length film. It's okay. two hours. Wonderful. And so how far along are you in this? So we have three out of the 27 days shot okay. so far. Uh, on morrow.com you can see some of our teaser footage even some promos and some things that kind of gives sneak peeks to the actual footage okay. from the film. We also have lots of concept trailers we made, you know, long ago before, uh, you know, making, you know, the real thing. Okay. So um, I would say uh, where we're at right now, the most exciting, you know, part of the film is that as of about a month ago, our film sold. All right, so, so you have investors, you have people do, that yes. like to make this thing really happen. We do, but we need more okay. or it won't be finished, just okay. to be clear. So we have 47% of the movie funded as okay. of today, um, but most importantly, we now have it where it's sold. So that's the most important thing for an investor is how do I get my money back? And you have to sell a film, obviously, to get the money back. So exactly. we, that, that distributor's name and phone number is made available to them in the financial paperwork. Okay. Uh, if we want to, we can sell it to them. Okay. Of course, we will sell it to, you know, whoever is the right buyer for us. But it kind of proves and it, it eliminates the risk of the film not selling, okay. which is exciting. Right, because there's a lot of time and money and effort there is. putting into this. It is. It's, you know, like compared to Hollywood movies, of course, we're, you know, we're, we're a smaller budget film. Mm -hmm. But I tell everybody, you know, it's a $715,000 film. Okay. So with, you know, 47% uh, of that raised, we've done well. So some people like to ask, hey, if you have 47% raised, why isn't 47% of it shot? Interesting, right? I thought of that. We have 12% yes. of it shot. Okay. Um, you can actually see also on our website, there's, we have a progress chart okay. that we kind of inform the public. It's got graphs, and it shows you the answer to that. But, for example, 20% uh, of our film takes place in the late 1800s. Okay. The opening of the film is in 1957. So we have period pieces. Mm. So costumes, wardrobe, mm -hmm. um, they're almost completed. Mm -hmm. You know, set construction. There's a two-story set in my backyard. Wow. Uh, in fact, set, set construction resumes on that today, okay. which is exciting. Um, so there, there's a lot to it when you're recreating the 1800s because there's nothing around right. anymore, you know? Right, a lot that's going to replicate it, yes. Right, a lot of animals in our film. And, and mm -hmm. so there's things that props, you know, and creation okay. of things. So the chart kind of tells people in a quick way, here's where everything's gone, you okay. know? So the sets are almost done, you know, uh, the costumes are almost done. The wardrobe, I believe, is like 95% done. Okay. So... Yeah. So this grassroots effort in this yeah. film, have you done anything like this before? Not in this genre. Okay. Not with a business model okay. of, in mind. So we've made right. an experiment. I've done two feature films, of course, here in St. Clair County, you know, uh, which were comedies. Okay. But I learned very quickly after doing those films, we thought our, 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 the next goal, of course, was business, okay. which means we need to make the investors their money back. Yes. So when I started researching all that, Every single resource I researched, person, mm -hmm. college, professors, mm -hmm. online articles, everything said, oh, you have to do horror first. Interesting. Which I did not, it really took me by surprise mm -hmm. because it's the highest selling genre in the world. And the reason for that is because when it translates overseas, which is where the bulk of your viewers are, it translates the best. 
It's the most understandable. So this unsolved mystery yes. that you are turning into this triple genre mm -hmm. kind of film, when do you expect to have it complete? Do you so, have any goals? So we know that there's 24 shooting days left. Mm -hmm. We know post-production is four to six months. Okay. And so basically we're using full orchestra, too. I love saying that because music's my other passion. Oh. We got a, my, one of my best friends, is, he, you know, he's a composer and he's got his degree in conducting and composing. So uh, our teaser, okay. you can see online, our official teaser does use a full orchestra, okay. which is exciting. And we got a promo coming out, I want to say next month, that's going to use a full orchestra too. Okay. So, um, but those, those and, and of course the elements of uh, the effects in the movie, mm -hmm. there's a lot mm -hmm. in this film, there's a lot. That's um, post-production. That's post-production. Okay. So that's why it's four to six months. Not every movie mm -hmm. takes that long to put together uh, today, but the, ours will. Okay. So, um, so it depends on funding, right? Mm -hmm. Now we have 75% of our films in the summer. Okay. But 25% of our films indoors. Okay. So there are things we can, can do, do right now, which is why we're getting that set ready right mm -hmm. now in case, mm -hmm. you know, if funding comes now, you know, we want to make sure we're efficient and, and have things, you know, ready to go. Right. Um, so, you know, that would mean by the time you're done, you could have it finished, you know, by the end of 2024. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the distribution would probably be 2025. Okay. You never know, because yeah. I don't have anything to do with that, but right. I know when someone buys a film, they want their money back, they want to distribute it soon. as soon as possible. Yes. But sometimes they'll time movies Okay. For According a better to time what of year. Yes, you know, absolutely. Let's put this movie out of Halloween. There are cer exactly there are certain times. Right. So this is going to be really exciting to hear about. And is it called Morrow Mor Road the movie? It's just Morrow Road. Just Morrow Road, mm -hmm. and and so what else are you looking for, real quick, so to wrap it up for the viewers? What is there anything else you're looking for? The number one thing we're looking for right now, mm -hmm. really, is just spreading the word. You know, for investors, you don't have to be you know, this super wealthy mm -hmm. person, like some people think, you know, um, anybody can invest. The So spreading the word that they're looking for investors, because okay. maybe you can't invest, okay. but you might know someone who can. Okay. And you don't have to pitch it, you know, mm -hmm. they'll just contact me, they can make their own just decisions. Share, share about, just share the information. And, and the website is? Morrowroad.com. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's very exciting to see this come to life, and we'll look forward to seeing it. Thank you, Karen. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us on Spotlight.